Coffee, can a cup or four a day keep the doctor away? Is coffee joining the likes of red wine as a beverage with newly found health benefits? Hi, Morgan and Mark here from Whole Latte Love. You know, recent research shows that coffee, the world's second most popular beverage, may have more health benefits than researchers thought even just a few years ago. So what does the research say? Well, Dr. Donald Hensrud of the Mayo Clinic says, Newer studies show that coffee may have benefits such as protecting against Parkinson's disease, type 2 diabetes and liver cancer, and it has a high content of antioxidants. He adds, however, heavy caffeine use on the order of four to seven cups a day can cause problems such as restlessness, anxiety, irritability, and sleeplessness, particularly in susceptible individuals. Researchers at Harvard found that drinking several cups of coffee a day appeared to reduce the risk of suicide in men and women by about 50%. Also out of Harvard, women who drink four or more cups of coffee a day have a 20% lower risk for developing depression than those who rarely or never drink coffee. For diabetes, a study at UCLA found that women who drank four cups of coffee a day were 56% less likely to develop diabetes than were non-drinkers. A study published in the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease says, if controlled clinical trials further support caffeine and coffee as protective against Alzheimer's disease diagnosis, compelling evidence will be given for the general public to adopt this strategy to reduce the risk of Alzheimer's disease. On cirrhosis of the liver, research by Arthur L. Klatsky of Kaiser Permanente, published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, concluded, there is an ingredient in coffee which protects against cirrhosis especially alcoholic cirrhosis. For each cup of coffee they drank per day, participants were 22% less likely to develop alcoholic cirrhosis. Research at Brigham and Women's Hospital and Harvard Medical School, published in the Journal of Cancer Research, says that increased caffeine intake is associated with reduced risk of basal cell carcinoma of the skin. And a long-term study by the American Cancer Society found caffeinated coffee was linked to a lower risk of some oral cancers. Intake of greater than four cups a day of caffeinated coffee was associated with a 49% lower risk of oral and pharyngeal cancer death relative to no or occasional coffee intake. The Cancer Prevention Study 2 began in 1982 and followed nearly one million men and women for 26 years. So if the research is correct, it sounds like coffee has the potential for some real health benefits. It really does. Want to see the research for yourself? We've put a link in the description of this video. It's going to take you right to our blog on coffee and health. You can just click on that and it will take you right to the direct links of all the research. I'm Mark. And I'm Morgan from Whole Latte Love. Here's to coffee for your health. Thanks for watching. Whole Latte Love is your resource for everything coffee. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily updates on new coffee gear, plus hundreds of videos including how-tos, equipment reviews, recipes, expert technical advice, and more.